In order to fully capture the essence of coaching psychology, four studies have been reviewed. All four look at the historical barriers and beginnings of coaching psychology and the relationship between psychology and coaching. It combines the history of human needs from Fruid, Murray, and Maslow to Klaus Grau in which we explore neuroleadership. This evidence was comprised through a systematic review with the use of coaching papers, electronic databases, inclusion criteria, and narrative synthesis. All aspects have been discussed and analyzed thoroughly in order to summarize the evidence and attributes of a coach. This directly scrutinizes knowledge and behaviors with respect to coaching relationship and the subsequent results. According to the International Coach Federation, there are approximately 47,500 coaches worldwide. Of that, 33.2% reside in North America. On the global market, coaching is worth about $2 billion per year. Coaching is directed towards learning and development in order to facilitate sustained cognitive, emotional, and behavioral change. However, for an athlete, the number one reason to enter into a coaching relationship is to build self-esteem. From a neuroscience perspective, the SCOAP coach theory has developed. SCOAP is an acronym for self-esteem, control, orientation, attachment, and pleasure. This is a motivational model rather than a mental health model. However, each of these are core to human mental functioning. A high SCOAP directly correlates to high hope. I had the opportunity to sit down with goaltender consultant and personal trainer Perry Wilson. Perry has worked with many minor associations as well as the Windsor Lancers women's hockey team. Nonetheless, he's most noted for working with the LaSalle Vipers, Hockey Canada through the National Women's Hockey Program, and is currently with the Windsor Lancers men's hockey team. He was able to provide helpful insight into the mind of a coach. Therefore, psychology is, is emphasized as an essential requirement for a coach. Personally, do you have any training or knowledge in the field of psychology? Do you feel it would benefit your coaching abilities? Yes, yes, I do think it would help. Um, with me, I've been doing it for so long, I kind of feel like I've gone through a course or two, but uh, the reality is to be able to pinpoint and to get the athlete through the stages of their uh, anxieties or, or whatever their feelings may be, to get them through that quicker would probably be beneficial for sure. And what seems to be a common source of anxiety for your athletes? Uh, failure. Um, not getting it right the first time. Athletes are very particular on trying to be the best at all times. And with a lot of what I do, I challenge them to, one, get out of the box and things I bring, introduce things that they're not gonna be very successful at, and they need to be okay with that. It's a learning process with any sport. If you wanna get better, you have to challenge yourself to be better. How do you attempt to build an effective relationship just in general? What is your initial step? My initial step is to get them to gain confidence in what, I, in what we are going to do together. I think that's so important uh, to both to understand why we're together, not just me making you do what I want, that we work to do things together to make you a better athlete. Once you get past that initial stage, what process do you employ in order to allow your coachee to be successful? Uh, trial and error. I use a lot of trial and error. I want my athletes to be, one, I want them to be athletic, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I find when it comes to certain sports, especially my sport, they try to be too technical instead of being out of the box. I want them to be creative as much as I want them to be technical. So I allow them to use trial and error to be the best they can be. Coaching psychology is studied in order to enhance one's whole performance. Coaching is a helping relationship through which one strives to reach their fullest potential. Coaches attempt to better an athlete through psychology for performance, psychology for health, and professional training and development. With respect to performance, it is an all-encompassing field. Further study is necessary to determine what makes a coach effective and what coaching interventions an athlete should engage in. Each explored method justifies the existence and success of coaching psychology.